Koalas should go extinct. I thought this animal was cute and lovable, but no, they're a vicious creature. They might look cute and cuddly, but these two front teeth could rip your arm open with ease. And they're not aggressive if you don't provoke them or threaten them. Yes. But just like any territorial animal, they're pretty easy to provoke or threaten. Step near their tree and you're kind of in their territory. And if they got kids, we might just turn into a drop bear and rip your face off. <laughs> their claws are also terrifying, especially since they're one of those animals that's really strong for its size. And as a human being, the thought of having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a koala is a scary one. We have no fur for scratch protection. We have no means of actually fighting back barehanded. And I don't know if you've noticed, but most of us are lacking muscle mass and can't even do a pull-up. Oh. And these dudes can climb trees all day. If there was a random person on earth and a koala in a ring, I'd place my bets on that koala. Ah! And did I mention that they run 20 miles per hour? The only person that stands a chance at even outrunning these things is goddamn Usain Bolt. I always thought these things were slow because every picture you see and every video you see is kind of just them being half awake. But no, they run fast and they climb trees fast. But even if you did have a fighting chance, 1v1 versus a koala, you wouldn't want to fight it because it'll probably give you six different diseases. Koalas apparently evolved 25 million years ago, meaning they have 25 million years of diseases under their belt. Up to 90% of koalas in Australia have chlamydia. And unfortunately for the koalas, this isn't symptomless. It makes them blind, it gives them pneumonia, it makes them infertile, and it kills them. And there's even more to this list. How has this species survived for so long when almost all of them have a disease that eventually kills them? That's like if every single person on earth had AIDS and somehow we were just fine? The reason though that almost every koala has chlamydia is because they need to eat a thing called pap. And you might be wondering, what's pap? Well, you see, pap is when a mother koala, uh, how do I word this? Um, shits in the mouth of their child? That is how baby koalas eat food? I don't understand what went wrong in the evolutionary timeline to have this be the case, but I guess we're here. The reason for this though does make sense. Koalas almost exclusively eat eucalyptus leaves. Your parents should have and probably told Told you not to ever eat those leaves because well you're a stupid kid timmy and you might try to eat the poisonous leaves because kids do dumb things timmy you fucking dumbass timmy but these leaves are really toxic they can even kill a full-sized adult in high dosages now you're probably wondering how do koalas a max 30 pound animal eat at least half a pound of these leaves a day and not drop dead well koalas evolved over time to deal with the poisonous effects of the leaves by evolving their gut biome the problem with that though is is gut biome don't get transferred at birth. So they have to eat the processed food from their mother so they don't die. Nature is truly a mystery in the past it decides to take. And on top of their food source being literal poison, it's not even nutritious. It's the human equivalent of only ever eating McDonald's. You wouldn't live very long. So with this being the case, their diet causes them to have chronically low energy levels. For years, people just thought these eucalyptus leaves were making them drunk. This diet also means they have to eat dirt. They're missing crucial minerals in their diet with just eucalyptus leaves. So to compensate for that, they just eat dirt like literal dirt, the shit you walk on. This is one of the dumbest animals alive. And I'm not just saying that either. The researchers that first looked at their brain called it ridiculously small. And it's true. Koalas have the smallest brain out of any known mammal. And on top of that, they're smooth. Koalas are literally smooth brained. They can't even pick up a eucalyptus leaf off a table to eat it because it's too different. They won't recognize it as their food. And you might be thinking, but they're affectionate they hug people look two things to respond to that with they also hug trees and they're only hugging you to maintain body warmth that's it and with how small and smooth a koala's brain is do you really think that this animal has the capacity for human connection and to top everything off when i look up why koalas shouldn't become extinct one of the first results is koalas form the backbone of a lucrative tourism industry your honor i have made my case yeah that's like cool and all i guess but you're on trial for murder god damn it click the end screens now to check out more of my content and like and subscribe if you're new and have a good one